All right, y'all, so this video is not going to be too long. I'm just hollering at you really quick. So, um, just another SR update. A couple of things I want to talk to you guys about. Number one is whenever you know, like, what you stand for or you know what you would, quote, unquote, tolerate or deal with, once you actually set the boundaries as to be like, you know what? Yeah, I'm not going to deal with this type of energy or, you know, maybe it's a girl that you possibly are talking to and maybe she, by your standards, standards, she doesn't talk to you with uh, respect, whether it's, you know, someone intimately or a female friend or, you know, whatever, a family member. Bro, I'm going to let you know right now, bro. It's a lot of individuals out there that number one they only know how to speak a certain way they only know how to project their energy a certain way uh, they only can vibrate to a certain frequency until you know they basically you know take care of like the internal realm within uh but if they don't do that they can only get so far bro your job is to not let these individuals mess with your peace and mess with your energy okay you don't have to engage if there's somebody again if they their frequency is a little low and this is the only language they know how to speak if you feel as though you know i'm not gonna sit here and like have nobody talk to me stand on that bro and i, I like i need you guys to like really have respect for yourselves dog because sometimes People who are in different frequencies, they don't know how to, number one, show respect because they probably never got respected or, you know, that's part of their love, their, their love language, you know. Um, and this goes again, this goes for uh, intimate females or, you know, someone that you're intimate with or a female friend or a female family member, just female nature in general. Um, sometimes, you know, again, you're going to have your, high, your, your good high vibrational females, and then you're just going to have some women who just don't care too much to be self-aware or don't care too much to want to, um, they don't really care too much about your feelings. They just literally will put you in the same type of boat as every other guy. Um, and I know this from experience, dog, like... And I'm not, this video is not to bash women. You feel me? It's never that. But um, it's just that, like, some of y'all know what y'all be doing, bro. And it's just like, at some point in time, you know, men, we, we really get tired of that shit, bro. Like, we really get tired of being talking to any type of way. We get tired. And when I say the men that I'm talking about is the ones who are, you know, spiritual, the ones who practice retention, the ones who are self-aware, the ones who are tapped in with God. Sometimes women will shit test you. And I hate that term because it's like they don't even do it consciously, bro. They don't they really don't do it consciously. It's it's a matter of like, are you number one? Can you are you man enough or can you, are you mature enough to handle your emotions? So, you know, when the female does act up, you know how to control yourself or they see strength, they see like potential. And the moment that like you try to engage or you talk about like something good, sometimes not all women do this. Don't get it twisted. I'm not saying that all women do this because it's not, it's, that's not the fucking case. But the few that, you know, view your strength as like a threat or, you know, they are probably in, intimidated. These are the type of things that they'll do. They will uh, gaslight you, casually talk to you, casually disrespect you. And it's just like, well, even even when you want to, like, play that game and then, like, you try to play that game and, you know, uh, try to talk shit back. All of a sudden it's like, oh, don't talk to me this way or don't disrespect me, X, Y, Z. But yet the moment that they try to do that, we should accept that. So. I'm here to let you guys know. I, I wish this was a little bit more a lighter video. I know like the past couple of days, my my two my last two videos have been pretty lit. But this was like, I didn't even plan to do this video, bro. 
I said, you know what? Let me just tap in with the guys. You feel me? Let me tap in with MGT and, um, you know, kind of express myself and express why I'm at, how I'm feeling at this particular point of time and during the day. And I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I recently kind of dealt with a situation like that and where apparently this was this is a female friend but I haven't spoken to her spoken to her in a while and you know I don't have no beef with her but like as far as like my interest level for her like trying to talk to her intimately it's a hell no nah. <laughs> it's a fuck no nah. and the only reason why I say that is because based on you know I don't want to get into details and shit, but basically, you know, she has her moments where, like, she'll talk to me a little crazy. And even in a casual conversation, I'm like, well, hold on, wait, time out. Like, we not going to blow past you talking this way to me. Like, I, and the reason why, and the crazy thing is, the reason why I know, because I really, I literally asked, I was like, oh, you serious? Like, you feel me? Like, she will talk shit over the smallest things. And it's just like, first of all, we're not together. Second of all, we're we, we not going to do this. You feel me? You're just not going to talk to me no type of way. The best way to combat that or deal with that is to not talk to them at all. You feel me? Not respond. Don't engage. Because she wants me to engage. But I, I pretty much lost interest in her like a while ago because I just realized, you know, how we talk to each other. You know what I'm saying? It's just... It's not, it doesn't feel healthy. And then I feel like sometimes people will make something out of nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's like, when you tell a female your truth, why is it so hard for them to believe your truth or believe what you're saying? You know, it's always like a, oh, you didn't mean that. Or, oh, tell me the truth. Oh, no, you're lying, X, Y, Z. I'm at this point where I'm not about to keep playing them games. You feel me? Like I'm in my early thirties and stuff. And I know sometimes it'd be like some grown ass women that be on that same shit, bro. That same high school shit. You know what I'm saying? That talk thinking like, you know, being toxic in a relationship is cute. Like it's really not, it's not cute. It's not attractive. It's actually annoying, you know? And I, I realized like my self-worth and I also realized like, you know, it's just certain individuals that I don't need to be talking to at all. And it's, it's actually been like that for a couple of weeks now. And um, again, she's a she's a very good friend of mine. Like, you know, we helped each other out through our tough times. You know what I'm saying? Like when I was down and when she was down and stuff. So I personally wouldn't say like, if you happen to be in a similar situation, you don't necessarily have to burn a bridge, but you have to, but you do have to set a boundary. You know what I'm saying? And then you have to let them know. And... It's crazy because like there's there's someone that I talk to right now, like intimately for real. And how she talks to me, bro, like it's I feel like a king when I talk to her, bro. She makes me feel masculine. She makes me feel wanted. She makes me she does a lot of shit. Like how she talks to me the entire time, bro, like it's crazy, bro. And that's what you're gonna notice, dog. You'll know that you'll start to notice the difference between based on how a woman talks to you or how she perceives you is you can tell whether or not like, you know, if she's either a good match for you or like y'all frequencies is just totally on a different, um, on two different planes. Y'all could be equally attracted to each other. Y'all could be, you know what I'm saying? Both of y'all find each other attractive and y'all could, the sex could probably be amazing. But this is why I like to talk about the internal work, the internal world. You feel me? The personality. This shit's corny as hell, but it's not about what's on the outside, but it's what's on the inside. I used to hear that shit back in the 90s when I was a kid, and I used to think, like, that shit's corny as hell. I'm not going to be settling for no two, but she's a 10 from the inside. But now, growing up and fast forward to now, shit, I, I totally understand. Sometimes it'd be some of the most cutest females out that's going to give you the biggest headaches. The most attractive women sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes they come up with some type of like, you know, either attitude, some type of baggage or you feel me. Um, but just noticing the difference of how like, you know, 
homegirl that I talk to now. Again, she she literally talks to me. She 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 pours into me, bro. And that's the type of women that you know you kind of want to. I won't even say that's kind of the women you want to attract, but I feel like those are the women you will attract because they will notice and respect you, bro. And it's not even no about who's bigger or who has the most money or anything like that. Um, it starts from within. It really do. Personality, your spirit, your soul, your intentions, your goals, your your drive, all of that is super important when it comes to attracting a woman. Like a real woman. You feel me? Not just the physical. Now, don't get it twisted. While you don't see more attention, will you become more attractive or will your skin start to glow or will... You know, you have the riz to get these females. Of course, it's going to happen. But that's only the first part of it. You got the attraction. Boom. Now, what type of women are you attracting? Notice the patterns on how they talk to you. Are they talking to you about themselves? Are they talking at you, attacking you? Or are they actually talking to you, talking to your soul and y'all are literally really having a conversation or not, not just a conversation, but either a conversation or, you know, a time where you guys can hang out together where sex is not involved. It's very important. If you guys are courting, if you out there, you don't have to rush to have sex, bro. Trust and believe. Cause the second, the instant that happens, everything gets a little bit more complicated. You become uh, attached. She becomes attached. Now, two, three months later, now you're learning who she truly is. And maybe, maybe, <clears throat> excuse me, maybe like since you are now realizing the type of woman she is, it's like, man, I don't know if I want to be with her, but she's so fine, man. And she does this for me and shit. So it's like, you don't want to put yourself in a situation where you feel conflicted. You know what I'm saying? You wake up in the morning, you look to the right and it's like, damn, she fine as hell, but she ugly as hell in, inside. And maybe her... You know, she has morning breath and it makes you have to go up and go to the bathroom and, you know what I'm saying, throw up or some shit. Who knows? Who knows? She might be she might be a funky ass motherfucker when she start living with her. You may never know. You know what I'm saying? All I'm saying is, of course, I'm being a little extreme by saying that. I had to throw a little bit of humor in there. But essentially, though, like. Protect your energy and don't don't stand for everything, bro. Like, don't you don't got to. You don't got to let. Some of these women who, and again, it's not all women who does this because I, I clearly told you about, I gave you guys an example of what I'm going through right now. Like the one that I'm talking to intimately right now, that's probably, it's probably like, that's, that's hard to find. You feel me? She's not perfect. No one's perfect, but just her energy and her intentions alone, bro. My guy. And she happens to be a little attractive too. But, um, you know, so you will run, you will, there are women out there that do exist that, you know, are very self-aware and will talk to you with respect. But the second you start talking crazy, <laughs> that's when she's going to call you a fuck nigga, you okay? And you, you, wanna, you don't want to be one of those. You know what I'm saying? Um, but outside of that though, like, yeah, don't, don't like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't got to, the second that you take back your power and just like not give, you know, either like different conversation or arguments, any of your time, any of your time or anything like that, bro. Like, number one, you will feel at peace. Number two, nine times out of ten, whoever's acting cantankerous or wants to start trouble with you. If y'all end up talking down the line, they might be a little bit more apologetic and they may want to listen to you. And that's because they didn't expect for you to set that boundary. You know, before they was playing around with you. You know what I'm saying? But what's the point of going back to talking to somebody who talks to you disrespectfully? You know what I'm saying? There's just no point. And then God will literally give you an example of what it's like for, you know, how a woman is to, you know, talk to a man or, you feel me? Um... God will literally send a woman in your life and you and you'll be like you it, it almost like it'll be you'll feel kind of 
uh, flabbergasted a little bit because I know I was like even now like I'm still trying to process like why you know because usually when women talk like very uh, feminine and very loving and stuff like that most of the time now nine times out of ten they have a hidden agenda you know or they're trying to hide something but you know the beautiful thing about being on retention and being on this journey is the fact that you are able to you know, not only know yourself and peep patterns in, in yourself and know when, okay, you're bullshitting and when you're actually, you know, when you really about something, the more you know yourself, it's like once you do start to have different uh, relationships, in particular with different women, women that you attract, nine times out of 10, you're going to attract a female that has a lot of similarity, excuse me, a lot of similarities that you have, and you'll be able to recognize a lot of the characteristics. You'll be like, damn, that's it's kind of cool. We kind of think alike in this regard. But then you can also see the true intention of a, f a female, you know, because a lot of them are very good. They're great liars. You know what I'm saying? Well, they, they are. They may not lie with their mouth, but 98% of the women out there, before they leave the house, they putting on a wig, they putting on makeup, or they doing something with their hair, they put... They putting all this stuff on, you know what I'm saying, support bras, all this shit. As soon as they step outside, there you go. You know what I'm saying? They 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 turn into their their ego. So they're more so when women quote unquote deceive, they're more so physical with it. They ain't gonna say it. Sometimes they will. But with men, yeah, I I don't even know why, but men just lie for no fucking reason. I don't know if it's just a lack of confidence or a lack of just, yeah, I think it's just a lack of confidence. They're afraid to, th to, to you know, speak their truth um, because of how, you know, the female may react or how anybody may react. But it's, it's weird, bro. Like, men be lying just because, nigga, just because the wind blowing. Like, you ain't even have to lie. You know what I'm saying? But um, trust and believe, bro. Everybody's going to have their flaws. Everybody's going to come short of the glory of God or whatever. But at the end of the day, man, I can't knock anybody who who is consistently working on themselves, whether they have a problem or not, whether it's a female or one of my brothers. If they have some type of internal issue and at least they're working on it, bro, I can at least give you I can give you all credit for that. But as far as certain people who are just stuck in their ways, um, nine times out of ten, those people who are stuck in their ways are gonna they're gonna have a lonely life. You know what I'm saying? And you all want to be one of those people, bro. Like, there's nothing wrong with compromising. I repeat, there's nothing wrong with compromise compromising. But what you don't want to do is lose yourself in this, you know, in this whole deal. You know, you can't let certain shit slide. The, the first week she starts talking to you crazy, oh, yeah, it's going to get worse. You have to nip that shit in the butt. And if you don't, it's going to keep getting worse until you had enough. So you say, you know what? I can't even have a conversation with you. I can't even FaceTime you. I can't even do nothing with you right now because of this conversation. And it's crazy, bro, because I'm like... Me and her, we 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 good. We we were good friends, type shit. You feel me? But I know my worth, and again, I know the right way, low key, to be treated. And once you get exposed to that, a little taste of that, bro, nigga, you gonna crave that shit, bro. You definitely not gonna settle. Once you find a high vibrational woman, and you are you, whether you know God gives gives her to you, or you know. You know what I'm saying? Go get her or whatnot. Like you, you know somebody, and you just say, you know what? I'm the electricity. She's a magnetism. Let's get this electromagnetism going. Y'all come together, type shit. With a high vibrational woman, bro. Trust and believe. Once you get a little taste of that, bro, like it's, you, you're not gonna want to go back. You're not gonna want to go back. Like your tolerance level gets lower for the bullshit. You, you see what I'm saying? But outside of that. MGT what it do, it's your boy Moody Star, and I'm back again with another video. If you're new, you already know what to do, man. Become a subscriber, like the video, and join MGT. This is a channel where I like to highlight current events and talk about my spiritual walk here in this beautiful, fucked up, sideways-ass matrix. Now, first of all, I gotta say a special shout-out to anybody that's holding on to your energy. 
Going within and being high vibrational here at MGT. This is what we do. We work on ourselves every single day. Intro for the outro. Y'all boys be blessed. Stay focused. If anybody, not just women either, bro. Your, your homeboys, I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn if they be joking and shit like that. Well, like, oh, it's just a joke. Like, nah, like certain things shouldn't be said to you. Um, or even if it's said, um, number one, you shouldn't let, you shouldn't let it affect you, but you know, friends, family, female friend, or, or your significant other, bro. Like, you know, again, we, if they have any type of like sign of showing disrespect or, you know, telling, telling little slick jokes, but they really serious and shit like, bro, nip that shit in the butt. Trust and believe, dog. Because you don't want to be a, you don't want to engage in that. The more you try to engage with that is the more internally you, you actually are kind of fucked up in a sense. Because like now you're becoming their vibration. Now your vibration is being lowered because you're going back and forth with somebody who's already talking to you crazy in the first place. You shouldn't even be con con continuing that conversation anyway. But yeah, other than that, man, it's been your boy Moody, Moody Star. Like, share, comment down below. Drop a big on the cash out to support the team. And I'm going to definitely see you guys on the next video. Peace.